Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech and in today's video we're going to be talking about the Samsung One UI running on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 or the S9 and the S9 Plus. So as I traverse the menu I've discovered some new things on the One UI that I want to talk about in this video today. If you want in-depth coverage of all the new and stunning features of the One UI such as a new navigation bar, the dark mode and such, I'm going to drop a link to that video down below so you can go check it out. Now before we dive in, if you do own a smartphone, make sure to hit that subscribe button to subscribe to Saki Tech. And of course, make sure to click that notifications bell icon as well to make sure you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. In this video, I'm just going to go over uh, a bunch of things so you can actually see some of the new modifications in the One UI. And this is again for detail oriented people. And of course, again, if you want to see things like this, uh, details about these things over here, the navigation, uh, the navigation bar, the dark mode if you want, uh, which is under display right over here, uh, the night mode that is. Uh, again, watch the video with the full details. I'm going to drop a link to, to that one below. In this video, I'm going to just go over some of the other things, uh, such as some of the security features and some of the battery features that I've noticed are new in the Samsung One UI and also some settings that were moved around. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So first and foremost, when you go to the settings, so if I were to go to the settings, uh, that's the wrong button. If I go to the settings right over here, uh, right away in the settings menu, you'll see a blue bar over here that gives you updates in your settings. So if there's something wrong, uh, you're gonna get these notifications inside the settings and you can tap on them to resolve that problem. So in this case, it was saying that there was something wrong with the battery. The high definition widgets is taking uh, too much battery usage in the background. So it wants me to put that app to sleep. Okay, I'm not going to do that because I'm using the, uh, the widget on a daily basis. But again, if you go into the settings, you will see that button, as I said. Now, if you want to dismiss it, you just exit out and it's gone. Now, the other thing I want to talk about happens to be under device care. Now, this is the same thing as device maintenance on the Note 8 running Android 8. But if you do go over here, and if you tap this button here, there's two new options here. One of them is the auto optimization, and the other one is the auto restart. Now, if I go into the auto restart, uh, this allows you to restart your phone once a week on a given day and a given time, which makes sure that your phone runs uh, smoother and fluider uh, than normal. So this option used to be in another part of the phone, but now it's been moved under device care, which makes more sense because you are caring for your device. So if you tap on auto restart, you can pick a day such as Monday. Uh, actually, you can pick any, you can pick seven days now. All right, so in the past, you could only pick one day a week. Now you can pick every day, two days, one day, or all seven days. So let's just pick one over here. Let's just pick Monday, and then you pick a time, and it's going to restart the phone at that given Monday. If I were to pick Thursday, it's going to do the same thing Monday and Thursday, which is a new feature. Uh, it's not present on the old Note 8. On the Note 8 with Android 8.0, uh, you can only do it once a day. But in Pi Update with the One UI, you can do it several times. So that's one. Number two, uh, by the way, I'm gonna show you guys some of the new things they did with the iris scanner. But first, let me show you this auto optimization here. So this is a new thing in, in Pi Update. Uh, basically, every single day at a given time, it's going to optimize your phone again so that it runs uh, smooth and fluid. Uh, it, if you pause the video, you can read this here and it's going to tell you exactly what this new option does. Okay, again, it's going to be in device care. And one more thing I want to show you guys here is the battery. So if I tap on the battery and if I tap on this over here and go into the settings, you'll see that there's a new option known as the adaptive battery. This is again new with One UI. Uh, I do like to disable this. Uh, if you want to enable it, it's going to uh, manage your battery uh, by limiting usage for apps you don't use often. Okay, uh, but I like to disable this because I like to uh, control my phone more manually. So this option is here as well. Now let me go and talk about the iris scanner. Actually, before that, let me show you one more thing. When you press the power button, you normally get three options. Now there's another option you can add over here. So let me show you what that is. So the next thing is in your lock screen security. So let's go to the lock screen really quick right over here. And I don't know if you use this or not, but the smart lock is something that's been around for a while. 
Uh, Smart Lock basically allows you to unlock your phone when you're in the house without using a PIN number by using your location. So if I go in here, as you can see, it can detect where you are. Uh, it can detect if you're in the car and it can unlock your phone without a PIN number. So if you have Smart Lock enabled, you can actually bypass it by, do, uh, by doing this thing. You go to Secure Lock Settings. Let me just put my PIN number in. And you come down here, by the way, these two are new options. Okay, I do have this one enabled. Again, you can pause the video and read the description here, tell you exactly what it does. But this is the one that I'm interested in. So this is the show lockdown option. This lockdown option, when you enable this, gives you an extra power off uh, option. It actually disables smart lock, biometrics unlock, and notifications and the lock screen, in the lock screen, okay? So if I press this button here, now I have four options. I got the lockdown mode. If I tap on the lockdown mode, it's gonna do everything it says here. It is going to turn off the smart lock. It's going to turn off biometrics unlock, so you can only use a PIN number to re-log in. It's not gonna, uh, you're not gonna be able to use your fingerprint or your eyes or your face. And of course, it's gonna hide all the notifications on the lock screen. So if you're at a meeting, uh, maybe you wanna do a lockdown mode, so nothing is available to other people. Anyway, so that's one extra strap of security. Now let's go and talk about the iris scanner and the, um, uh, the, uh, the face scanner. So let's go to biometrics and security. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go to the uh, irises over here just to show you that new option that they added. So when you got, get here, you have this new stay on lock screen option. As a matter of fact, I'm using intelligent scan right now that uses both the face and the eyes as is necessary. So let me go there and show you the thing because it's actually enabled. So when I'm in here, if I enable stay on lock screen, what it does is if the phone gets unlocked, let's say I'm in the lock, let's say I'm right here. Okay, let's say I'm in the lock screen right here. Uh, it's looking for my eyes, for my face. If it unlocks the phone, it's not going to log into the phone like this. It's going to actually unlock the phone and wait for me to swipe it. But as it does it, I'm gonna show you, it shows a new animation on the screen, uh, very, very much like the iPhone. Okay, so let's show you what, what I'm talking about. So let me just get up real quick. So let me go to the lock screen. I'm gonna just lift this up so you can recognize my face. And as you can see, there's a lock symbol, unlock symbol. Now my phone is actually unlocked, but it actually showed me that unlock symbol on the top of the phone, which is great. So again, if I go back on over here, go to the lock screen, I'm sorry, go to the biometrics and security, go to intelligence scan, and go back in here. This is the new option that you can enable uh, to stay on the lock screen even after you unlock the phone using intelligent scan. You can do the same thing for the face and the irises uh, if you're using them individually. I do recommend using these, uh, these together because it does do it faster. I'll also let you know that with this new update, Log it into your phone actually has become faster and more secure. So it's easier to now uh, scan my eyeballs or scan my face and log me right in, or I can just use my fingerprint, which is great, okay? So those are the, some of the new features that I've discovered on the One UI, running on the Note 9, and of course, it's also gonna happen on the, uh, on the S9 and the S9 Plus. Now, one more question I was getting from a lot of people uh, was about the S Pen. So if you do go to the S Pen, if you go into the S Pen uh, features, uh, it's all the same. You're not gonna see anything new in the S Pen with the One UI other than this. So if I remove the S Pen right over here, right over here, when I bring up the uh, Air Command, when I bring up the Air Command menu just like this, you'll see that the only thing that's changed is the actual icons, okay? So all the functionality is exactly the same, but the icons for each one of these functions has been modified. Okay, so it's just a visual tweak uh, for the S Pen. You're not gonna see anything new with the S Pen features or S Pen capability. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. Now, like I said, if you want to learn more about all the navigation bar gestures, how we can modify this, let me just show it to you real quick if, in case you haven't seen it. Uh, let me just go to display, uh, go to the navigation bar. You can go back to full screen gestures if you want. Uh, that's home. Again, I've shown this in my other videos. I'm gonna drop links to that below. Uh, but again, I'll give you more details in the other video regarding these basic features. Basic navigation, uh, bringing the things down towards you, the night mode, all that has been covered in detail in the video I'm gonna drop down below. 
So go check that out, okay? In this video, we just looked at some of the new things I've discovered as I traverse the menu of the Note 9. All right, so make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech, give this video a thumbs up, and of course, um, uh, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, follow me on all at Saki Tech Online. Have a fantastic day.